Anthony said 10 points and 7 assists in the 62-56 victory over the Hall. Coming up next, Villanova host Maris from the Fieldhouse on the Big East Television Network. Network presents Big East Basketball. Today's game features the Villanova Wildcats hosting the Marist Red Foxes. Big East Basketball is brought to you by Piedmont, the number one airline to over a hundred cities coast to coast. And by Avis, the official rent -a car of the Big East Conference. By United Jersey Bank. And by Budweiser. Beachwood aged for the distinctively clean, crisp taste that makes Budweiser the king of beers. Villanova basketball is a live, exclusive presentation of Philly 57. WGBS Sports. basketball at the Jake Devon Fieldhouse on the campus of Villanova University. A very warm atmosphere for a college basketball game. Hello everybody, this is Bill Raftery and joining me as the analyst, Kevin Lockery, who's seen a few ball games at St. John's when they used to come down here and play. This is a tough building to play in. Obviously, it's a great home court advantage for Villanova. I think Maris is going to surprise a lot of people today. They're tall, they're big. They've had good experienced players. The foreign players have some time. It's a maid, John, and so that helps. <laughs> you may struggle with the pronunciation, <laughs> but now you've prepared for big teams before. What does Roley Massimino have to do to negate this size? I think a big situation, you're going to have to trap and be very aggressive all over the floor. When the ball goes down deep to the big people, send two and three men in to attack them and be aggressive all over because if they, it, it's going to be a slowdown game. Both teams like it in the 50s or 60s, so that could be advantage, actually, to Maris. Villanova's defense is pretty tough to handle as well. Well, they'll change so many defenses. As you know, it's a matchup defense. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it's basically a, a zone with man-to-man -man principles, and they'll show you six or seven defenses, and they can get very confused, and particularly in this building. It's so tight, and when you're aggressive in this building, it makes it even worse. In your years as a coach, you've prepared for an opponent where everybody expects you to win, and you and your players know it's going to be a tough out. I think it's the toughest game. When you're supposed to win, there's more pressure on the coach, because if you lose it looks bad so Maris has nothing to lose it's not a, a, a league game by any means for them they're getting ready for their league which they won last year I think they're an advantage that way and for Massimino's club it's not going to be easy to Roley's a little uptight he's always uptight <laughs> <laughs> all right Kevin thank you very much we're going to enjoy the game our first oh, game we'll together it'll be some fun and we'll see some very similar Welcome everybody back to the Jake Nevin Fieldhouse on the campus at Villanova University for some Big East basketball. Of course, Maris, not in the Big East, in the ECAC Metro North, and last year won their regular season tournament and lost in the playoff, Kevin. They're a good basketball team. They have a lot of foreign players, as we said before. They got good size. They're going to slow the game down, particularly in this building, to try to make it in the 50s. That going over like that, and hopefully the face picks up a little bit. And let's hope you pronounce the names correctly. And for the correct pronunciations, <laughs> we go to Al Elia on the PA for the player intros. Now let's meet the starting lineups for this afternoon's game. First for Marist College. At guard, a six-foot sophomore from the Bronx, New York, number 12, Grafton Davis. At guard, 5'11", freshman from Clareton, Pennsylvania, number 14, Carlton Lane. At center, 7'3", sophomore, Eindhoven Holland, number 45, Rick Smith. At forward, 6'6", junior from Nice, France, number 10, Alain Forstier. 
And at forward, 6'11", freshman, Novi Sad, Yugoslavia, number 43, Miroslav Kaparski. The head coach of Marist is Matt Virgin. For the Villanova Wildcats. At guard, a 5'9", freshman from Jersey City, New Jersey, number 3, Kenny Wilson. At guard, a 6'4", junior from Trumbull, Connecticut, number 32, Harold Jensen. At center, a 6'8", senior from Mystic, Connecticut, number 21, Harold Presley. At forward, 6'7", sophomore, Wakefield, Massachusetts, number 31, Mark Lansky. At the other forward, 6'6", six, six, freshman, out to the Pennsylvania, number 42, Doug West. The head coach of Villanova is Raleigh Messavina. Very happy man with a new suit, and we'll be back with more action right at it after this word from your local station. Of course, Jake Nevin, the trainer here at Villanova, was here when you played at St. John's, and I should let you identify the officials because you've called them by names most of your career. Now, oh, Billy, this is you guys. I, I only got the NBA guys, but right here, these are very good officials. And one, of course, John Lesher from your old neighborhood. That's exactly right. Look at the lineups. Smiths, big kid at seven foot three, Kevin. Excellent rebounder, was the ECAC North Rookie of the Year. He can run the floor very well also, which is a big break. Villanova in their zone. Carlton Wade. Of course, it's really a contrasting lineup by Maris set up in their 2 3. Two very small players and the big studs in the back. Yeah, they're going to make uh, Villanova shoot from the outside, particularly from. Villanova moves the ball around. They look for the left corner every time, right where Jensen is now. And this particular display is typical Philadelphia. As you know, it drives Billy Packer nuts. I love it for that reason. But this all started the palestra. I think it's a good idea. Everybody knows it's coming, so it's not, it's not taking anybody by surprise. But uh, it's unbelievable the games I've done in this, in this building, Billy, that from the left side of the floor, this basket, incredible how, how well they shoot from. On this side of the floor, the, the right side, they don't shoot as well. I don't know if it goes downhill, <laughs> uphill, whatever, but they well, shoot well from the left well, side. Well, you know, the Catholic schools, they probably got a little better deal built it on the hill. <laughs> That's, right. That's probably where the money's at. <laughs> and this will be the last ball game in the field house, too. And of course, Villanova wins most of their ball games here. <laughs> Tough one to handle by Drafton Davis. That's a situation they cannot afford turnovers, as you know here against Villanova. You have to play almost a perfect game. Villanova very patient normally, Kevin. That's a good sign. Wilson's a freshman. Wilson and West, a freshman, playing. We'll be starting uh, what Raleigh did. He brought him a little slowly in the beginning of the year, but once you get ready for the big East, you put the studs in, and, and they're playing now from the start. Well, I saw you early in the year, and you told me this would be the starting lineup. You're a seer. I felt that way because West and Wilson are the better players. Well, extension now in that 1-3-1 look. Now, of all the farm players, they claim Miroslav Pekarski is the best. They feel he's the most polished because of he has a little bit more instinct for the game. The other players are basically just big, aggressive, but they don't have the instincts that he has. The far VA off the mark. I don't know if they call it an air ball in France, <laughs> but it was an air ball. <laughs> in any language, it didn't. It wasn't a very good shot. Uh, I wonder if they boo in Nice. <laughs> Intimidation, huh? And the block. 
That's a foul that uh, Roy doesn't want to see. A uh, backcourt foul by West. That's, that's sometimes the freshman will make a mistake. But one thing with Marist, Billy, they, they hold their opponents to 41% shooting. And I think that's very, very important, you know, from coaching. And that's because the big people inside do intimidate. Well, Matt Frigenic had two NCAA teams at Robert Morris. A little bit similar in his coaching to Roly Massimino. Same shows defensively. As you mentioned, turnovers kill you, don't they? Villanova here, you cannot, you almost have to be perfect. We said that before. That's another good intimidation. The big people inside, Bukowski, I think that's how you say his name. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Try Miro, though. I don't want you to chance it. Uh, we'll go with the first names today. The outside shooting again. Both teams are going to have to make outside shots. Well, uh, Carl Wade off the mark so far. Had the alley open. Wilson, who's been leading St. Anthony's in Jersey City, which has turned out some real good players. Mandy Johnson at Marquette and uh, Rivers down at Notre Dame. Right. And Bobby Hurley, their coach, just seems to get kids to react to the bench, follow orders very well. Well, I, I've seen his high school teams play, and uh, he's a tough coach. He really is an aggressive coach. His players listen or else, and it's a good, that's a great guy to get. I talked to Digger Phelps. I flew in yesterday. He's got Rivers. He feels the same way about Rivers as uh, Raleigh feels about Wilson. And Wilson there with the, the extension to about three-quarter court almost caused the turnover. West slapping it out of bounds. See a lot of matching up by Villanova. Very active defensively. Show a lot of things to you, Kevin. It almost looks like they don't know exactly where they're going, but they're very well, they're very well coached they're, and they get there. They're very good at not knowing where they are. Right. That's tough to defend, isn't it? I believe this tempo is an advantage for Maris because the big people are going to be able to get set. Uh, Smith's long arms and sort of learning the game according to Coach Frigenic. NBA hop, you've that's seen a, that. That's, uh, that's a continuation play in the NBA here. It's a walk and it was a walk. He, he, both feet came down before he passed the ball. Into the game early. You got Ron McCants, their sixth man last year for Maris and need a little spurt. Going to him early. Again, it's going to take the outside shot. He shoots the ball decently from the outside. Chris Varsity off the mark with that one on the pines right now. Right. Over the top. Uh, it's good Fair. rotation of the ball by Maris. They got the layup, but Kantz missed the easy shot. He was intimidated a little bit. He thought someone was coming from the weak side, and no one really came. Amiroslav going inside but you're right good reverse but Kevin you mentioned something that's entirely true sometimes the Villanova players aren't sure where they should be and I think that happened that time I was, right there was no one on the on the strong side that time when they reversed the ball I believe Wes is going to be a big time star he's got NBA future about him for freshmen he's got good court presence he can play the point on uh, on defense and offense so he's really a good player well, you're really not going out in the limb everybody in the country wants him. <laughs> I, I know why Maris of course off a defeat of Iona at New Rochelle a good win for them after two tough losses to St. Peter's and Fairfield. Uh, talking to Fajanic, the coach, he feels they can get leads, but because of the, their skills, particularly ball handling skills by the big people, they get in trouble. Good play there, Presley, and then he turns it over. Again, they were looking for a lob, and Presley made a great defensive play. Then he turned it over, and now it's a ball underneath for Marist. Not not bad start for Marist at all. And Kevin will be back with more action right after this word from your local station. And for Marist, not a bad start. A couple of turnovers early, Kevin. But uh, they've been down the pike a little bit because we mentioned Matt Frigenic has been down the road. They're not... They're not afraid of uh, playing in this building. Uh, Miroslav here intimidates as Smiths will. They can block shots. They clog up the middle pretty, pretty well. Here's good block. Both people are up there to block it. That's a good sign. Pretty good reaction, too. They're not afraid to play here. Uh, they're experienced. They have a little bit more experience because of their international play. And uh, 
I think it's a good game. Of course, Roley really a great year in a sense with the NCAA championship and now comes back this year, loses Jake Nevin, then his mom this week. All the traveling, it's been a trying beginning for Villanova. It's been tough. He's, he, he's handled it very, very well. There's one of those silly turnovers. That kill us. Oh, I thought that was a good play. I know I you don't want to get out of your fences. <laughs> that was good reaction by defensively again. Uh, you can see Maris is very, very well coached. You said it before, Billy. They're very similar in style, both teams. And this type of style, I think, will be a little bit of an advantage to Maris. But uh, Villanova is so well coached. They, they, hit the, they move the ball so well, and they're very aggressive defensively. Good shape up in the lane by Villanova, too. But as you mentioned, the defense analyst. They're a good prying team, Kevin. Villanova looks and tries to create a passing lane. Exactly right. They they look for the for Jensen, who's the best outside shooter, and he can really stick it up from a standstill long, and uh, he's a great shooter. Will you ever forget him in the finals against Georgetown? Unbelievable. Five for five. Pretty good cross-court skip pass. Isn't that amazing how you want to cross-court the ball now? In the old days, you wouldn't dare do that. You'd come right out of the game, but now it's probably the best pass you can have. Drafting Davis able to knife his way through. What would Joe Lapchick do if you cross-courted the ball when you were playing? He'd be sitting right next to Joe Lapchick. They're on fire. They're all tough shots. Actually, Maris is getting them to take the shots they want, but I think they got to put a hand in their face. They're getting the long jump is wide open to go up and attack them a little bit more. Of course, good ball movement on both clubs. Part looking, trying to find the open man. That time, Villanova tried to extend it out. They kind of cheated and double teamed, and uh, Maris took advantage. Shamley inside there with the follow. A little tight, I think, on McCann's part right now. Right. I don't believe they're going to be able to get the ball into Presley at all. They've made a lot of substitution backwards in the game now. They've moved a lot of people in early in, uh, in this game, and uh, you're not going to get the ball down in deep against Marish. You're going to have to make the jump. Pretty, pretty good hands by Beckwith, too. I mean, they're close. They've got the shot blocking inside. And now we're going to take a look at Gary Massey, who's been up and down like freshman can be. Right, I think he's probably one of the keys to the club going into the big ace because he has to play well. It doesn't seem like they're going to use the big guys, the, 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 the makers and them people a whole lot. So they're going to go a small lineup. They look good in the program, bro. They, 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 they really do. Everything to make, I, I feel, is the key if they're going to be successful in the Big East, but they haven't seen, they just haven't come along. And it's not from work. You know, you talk to Roley, they give you the effort, but in key situations, it'll be a fumble or a missed right. tap or let the team down on a key play. That's right. The quarterback draft in Davis. The assist man really seldom looks to score. He's not a very good shooter. The coach told me he's not a very good shooter. That hurts him in close games if he doesn't take the shot. Dwight Wilbur, good corner jump shooter. Oh, that's good basketball. <laughs> Great hang time. <laughs> That's great basketball, I just said, Bill. Good movement of the ball. Wilbur Wilson finally got it in deep to Preston. He had a little uh, hang time was pretty good, just <laughs> like you used to be able to hang like that, Bill. I don't want to age <laughs> you, but if they did that in your days, you would have thrown them out of the playground. But this is good defensive pressure and reaction, Kevin. Again, neither team's going to let the ball down, come down in deep. But here's a great move by Presley. He uses the basket as a defender for himself, goes underneath, hangs. That's a sensational play. If I did that, I've been in traction for a month. <laughs> the game has changed. It really has. The athletic, the athletic skills of these players is fantastic. And that's the over the top. Now that's a silly one. Well, that's the one again when you're not playing and you want to you want to really impress. You want to do something great quickly. And Everson got in a situation where it was a dumb foul, and uh, they, they get you in trouble because you get in foul trouble. It's uh, it's one on one every time. Again, the extended floor, trying to come up with some traps, maybe pick off a cross-quarter. 
Presley struggling off that foul line. One for four, just one point. This defense is definitely bothering Maris. The Emerson, huh? Yeah, the aggressive defense is going to bother, bother Mar Maris more than any other defense that Raleigh will use. Well, they got Smits all the way out to the corner. I know Virginic doesn't want that. That's a walk. He slid into second. He's called for walking. And Emerson is trying to do, he's going to hustle because you want to get back in the lineup and play a little more minutes, you'll do anything. He's trying to impress That's Rowley, right, isn't he? Right. Harold with the t-shirt, a la Patrick Ewing. And I had a Georgetown game the other night, and they have the t-shirts sewn in now. Oh, is that? It's all part of the uniform now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's safety equipment, man. <laughs> Good pass. Big Shamley should have been moving to the goal. It's a, the league rule now is that the t-shirt has to be part of the uniform, though, Bill. That's amazing. They got all kinds of rules for everything now. Family really been a factor here. He's the oldest player on the team and in a sense the most experienced. And again, this is what they'll do. They'll, they'll pound the boards. They'll go aggressively to the boards. Shots missed. Second and third effort, it's going to be big for Maris because they do have a size factor here. Good finish on the play, got fouled by Ever Everson, chance to cut it to two points, Bill. And Shamley able to have his fifth point. And with that fifth point, Kevin will take a break. Maris, I think, handling themselves admirably early. They've done a good job, an excellent job so far. And we'll far. be back with more right after these words from your local station. I have a Plymouth player of the game, Kevin tonight and on each of the Big East games we'll be selecting a Plymouth play of the game as part of the Chrysler Corporation sponsorship of Big East basketball. I feel that uh, uh, Maris has found the lineup they're happy with right now. They've uh, taken out Smiths. They've gone smaller and quicker. Not enough room out there on this type of gym, is there? <laughs> That's exactly right. They put it. They're aggressive defensively. You're gonna have to make the jumpers, and this is the side they like to shoot from. There it is. Is that the downhill that's, side? That's the downhill <laughs> side. It's incredible. Last game I did, nobody made a shot from the other side, but that's that's the spot. Even the bad shooters make up from over there. Good Jen, reversal here, Kevin. Yeah, great. And this is a perfect shot. His extension on jump shot is just about perfect. He hangs there. He stays with the shot. That's what makes him a great shooter. And as you said, no one will ever forget the game he had against Georgetown. Of course, he's on the line. He has six points this evening. Looks like an older T-shirt there. Maybe one that you had when you were playing. <laughs> it's full court pressure now. That was still a good job, even though he walked. They, they knew how to attack it, and you can see they're coached. They got the ball right in the middle to the best ball handler. He just fumbled the ball. It was good defense from behind by they, Villanova. They weren't just trying to beat the timeline, were they? That's exactly right. And again, a, in a full court trap, a lot of steals from behind. That's where most of the steals will come from. You can see that triangle in the corner by Villanova. High low. Brown up big. <laughs> yeah. Brown is another player they like to get some time in before the Big East so he can get if they need him in the game, in the big game. Because he was down big also. <laughs> the unusual look, Villa, it's 1-3-1, one, one, but they'll match up out of this thing on occasion. And sometimes they'll follow them in and other times they just let, they, they won't follow him. It's a very good, obviously a great defense. Saw Drafton Davis wishing that one home out there. <laughs> that, that wasn't a shooter's shot, like he said. He was. He didn't follow through as well as Jensen did on the other end. They come in now with uh, uh, Wade, and he he again is a, is a pretty quick ba basketball player. And they're just making the situation for real and over to shoot the jump, and that's where you're going to see today. It's a little bit of a two-three or a flat three-two with Wade handling the corner, Kevin. Yeah, again. Uh, but situation, they reverse it to Jensen, it's back to the left side every time. That's where they attack it. Good offensive move that time. Uh, he took the ball aggressively to the basket. He's gotten a little heavy, Wilbur has, and I think uh, he, the road trips? he goes to the same restaurants that Raleigh goes to, and I think it's hurt his game some. Uh, uh, he's a jump shooter, but this is yeah, unusual for him. He took it all the way to the basket because there's a lot, it was a good, good defense then by Maris, and he was forced to take it to the hoop. Miroslav with the bump. 
He's replaced by Smiths and Dwight Wilbur out of Don Bosco Tech in New Jersey. Mike Mugno, one of the coterie of followers <laughs> of Roly Bissman. He's got an army out there. He's got his own entourage out there. He, well, he's done some job. I mean, the year he had last year was fantastic. It, it made it fun for everybody who's ever coached. I mean, they can have a chance. It's still frozen. That's exactly right. No one expected him. He did it. Here's the full court pressure. Almost got it. Wilbur a step Wilbur. slow. Exactly right. Maybe that pounder too. <laughs> But the uh, Maris Hale, they're going to come with a new, whole new Ooh. team uh, rolling over. The old North Carolina <laughs> blue team, huh? That was a good, good pass into the post by McCants. And uh, again, the reaction was a little slow by Smith, but he's a big target, but excellent pass. Boy, do they attract people. Uh, Villanova goes right for it when it gets in deep. I'll tell you one thing, when you, when you put it in a whole new team, uh, Billy, I felt as a coach, he, uh, most times that hurt, that uh, the guys came in a little cold together and uh, got in trouble. Let's see what happens. Uh, now, Raleigh obviously knows his team better than I do. I always felt they can get in a little bit of trouble when you bring in five new people. Incidentally, it's a little easier when one of those five is your son, though. <laughs> well, that's, that's true. It's amazing. Uh, uh, you know, it must be a little difficult at times for playing for your dad. Uh, particularly when he's a vocal guy like Raleigh. You know, it's easy because RC gets along so well. He works hard in practice. He's respected. Yeah, he's. Uh, and I'm sure Roley's a little tougher on him too. Plus, RC can play. I mean, it's not a fact that he can't play. See the overload right, Kev. Yeah, they'll swing it to the left. They don't like the attack from there as much as they did the left side. Massimino will end up with the next shot. My protection. Oh, a seer <laughs> and a reach in That's by it. Wade. He's good. He can shoot the ball, Massimino, also. He's a very good shooter. Again, coming in cold, he might have missed the shot, but they reverse the ball almost strictly to the left. They don't take any shot. That's the bad side over here. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't go. You've been sneaking into practices, I think. <laughs> Plansky's a good shooter. Plansky's a, a, a good basketball player. He'll be a factor on the team coming off the bench because he can shoot the basketball. Because that's his first point of the evening. I felt in the beginning of the year watching him, Billy, that he would be maybe a starter. And then, and obviously they've gone with the younger people, Weston and Wilson. But Plansky will play a lot. Of course, last year he injured his knee late. I was one of those poor fellows who had a ball game when Pitt bombed Villanova the last regular season right. last year. That turned their year around. The trap effective. Yeah, with the full court trap. It's, it's a problem with Maris. Possession goes to Maris, but next time we'll go to Real Nova as we have no more jump balls because the officials can't make a good toss. <laughs> so we, we don't have tall enough, man. <laughs> That's right. Of course, you work the officials to your advantage on occasion. I, I did it early in my career, and I did it in the end, but I found out as we went on in my career, it didn't help as much. But, uh, you couldn't intimidate him. Good pass inside, Shambly not able to handle. Oh, I thought Presley should have taken him there. I mean, he threw any, the foul. Anytime you're in the paint, I really believe you should shoot the basketball. It might sound like a selfish move, but uh, you draw fouls in the paint that are uh, everybody's expecting you to shoot the ball. Particularly when you're a senior and the leader like Harold Presley. Exactly right. Defense is really bothering Maris. They don't handle the ball as well because a lot of foreign players, that's not their skills. Oh, that's tough to handle, isn't it? <laughs> That's a big man, it's some target, and he had his hands up, never brought the ball down. He shows real good signs if he keeps working and builds his body up. He, you never know because he can run the floor. Well schooled, though. You're right, kept him up high, nobody could touch the basketball. Uh-oh. Good hustle out of the zone. Villanova victim of some bad pass work. I didn't think McCants could jump like that. It was very impressive. Good defense by Maris. They're, they're just playing aggressive defense. They feel they can be real enough. You get the sense here that sure. they feel they can at least play with them. And Ron McCants out of Brandeis in the Bronx. You know he can dunk that basketball. <laughs> exactly right. He wouldn't be let play in the neighborhood. Beckwith with the reach in. Again, they're in the penalty, too, and the one-on-one -on -one situation is, is, uh, is, is key. Massimino cannot come out of the game. He has to shoot the fouls. Billy, you would have never ran to the bench if you knew you were going to the foul. Oh, well, he's so used to it, probably. <laughs> That's, right, yeah. That's really obeying the coach right there. Because <laughs> they are 
an extension of Roly and his family. You, know, you read so much about it, but we've both shared or basked in their home life right. over a coal lager. <laughs> no, and, no, uh, no. They get along, the players get along, and it was a big decision for him to stay. I was an amazing decision. Not, not many people would have made that type of decision. That's a credit to Raleigh Massimino and his family. Jensen replacing Massimino. After every foul shot, food court pressure. Now the good speed by Wade, they couldn't get a secondary trap there. Exactly right, he broke the initial trap. Rudy Bugarell into the ball game out of Guadalupe. They're coming from all over. <laughs> McCants with the reach in, but that's where I think Wilson's at his best in that open floor, able to create. Exactly right, Bill, and uh, the shot Bucarell took is not the one they want. They don't really want him taking the outside. His good movement by Wilson, the foul by McCants, but he's excellent in the open floor. Like all the players from St. Anthony, they, he headed right to the top of the foul line. That's where he was going to make his decision. He's a good player. And Bugarell really started the fast break with the bad shot. Oh, I talked to Matt uh, Fajanic last night, and he does not want Bugarell taking that top shot. <laughs> Particularly the first five seconds into the game when he comes in the game. You know, for the listeners, uh, just joining in, quite a number of foreign players. And the reason is it's easier to recruit them. I mean, there isn't a market for it. They, Maris can't get the great player here, right? So it pays off for them. It really has paid off. It must be difficult to put them all together. Well, they're doing it tonight. And Kevin will be back to check on Maris and Villanova after these words. Of course, developing the concept of the foreign player by Maris, their assistant, Bogdan Jovovich, of course, from to Pola in Yugoslavia, and that's how that all started. He was a foreign player, and of course, Verjanic has taken advantage of his uh, globetrotting expertise. He's from Black to Pola, Yugoslavia, and I know you never played one-on-one -on -one there. <laughs> no, I never did. I never got out of the Bronx to play one-on-one, -on -one, but I believe trying to put all the different uh, plays together, I talked to the coach there. Their English is very good, so that's not a problem, so, but the, the different styles that they've come from got to really be difficult to put it all together. And they use Smiths on the outlet, so they must be confident in his ability to deliver a good pass. I'm a little impressed with him. I'd like to see him more against a man-to-man -man to see how he would play against a man-to-man -man defense. Well, that's the one complaint the former NBA guys have <laughs> when they come out. They want to see the individual talent. This is more zones in the NBA now than it is in college. <laughs> that's all you hollered all night <laughs> long not. on the other club, of course. Presley down in there. Pretty good penetration by Wade. He's not afraid. Ten point score out of Clareton, Pennsylvania. Again, Wade uh, took the ball to the basket, but no one's going to make a layup against uh, Real Nova down in deep. You're going to have to earn it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. It may hurt. Right. A lot of these players at Maris went or were enticed to going because of the IBM company being right there and uh, that's a great recruiting tool for postgraduate work it's a nice place also Maris uh, I used to do camps up there every day and Billy Paul used to have a camp that I used to do and it's a really nice place it's now a private school by the way it's right. no longer Catholic businessmen have helped and taken over home 24 Villanova and Maris 19 Seven, twelve remaining. West is a great athlete, uh, and I think uh, he's going to be a big time star. He can play the plays at the point right now. That's a big advantage that size at the point. Once again, you mentioned the good ball movement. That was a great pass by West. He took the ball in traffic, as you know. That's the most difficult pass when you're inside the, the five, six foot area, and he made a great pass to Presley. Because any, if anything, they're very unselfish, and it's easy to cut when you know you're going to get the basketball. It really helps. Here's a great save by Wes, who's such a good athlete, and then at the end of the play, he finishes it up with a sensational pass. So they're really excited here in Real Nova, which they should be. And there's your hang time. That's not bad. Smiths with number one, Rick Smiths. Presley's got to be the big leader for this club. He's obviously the, the veteran player, and... Uh, with, with, when you start in two freshmen, he's got to be the big leader on the floor. Makes it Villanova 26 and Maris 19. 
Five seconds. Five second violation. Good full court pressure. Again, in this building, under the basket, there's not much room to move for the players. Everybody's standing on top of one another. And it's a situation that you get, it's tough to get the ball in bounds. The ushers here used to hold your pants when <laughs> you're inbounding. That's exactly right. You saw for Janik saying it was only four seconds. <laughs> that's, that's, a nice play by Wilbur. Again, the left side. Real Nova attacks you from the left side. His full court pressure. The level with a nine point lead. Nice play. Excellent play. Handled the ball very well. When you get the uh, full court trap against you, attack it and go after it. Shamley getting down the floor and Beckwith dishing it off. 28 21, Villanova. Nice pass by Jensen to Plansky, and Plansky can shoot the basketball. They have a small lineup right in, in there right now, rolling over against the big lineup for Maris. First, you know, the Big East this year, not real big as a conference. Good pass, and Smith's, boy, you know, you don't see that too often in college, shooting the basketball. <laughs> Knew he had the foul. Exactly right. He, he's, he's still some impressive uh, skills. Again, uh, I think his body obviously needs to be built up. For, to see how good he can be, but he's got some skills for big man. Let's see how he shoots his foul. I think they gave that to Mark Plansky, number one. Now he's from Eindhoven, Holland. And if I'm not mistaken, that's, remember Cornelius Ryan's book, A Bridge Too Far? That was one of the bridges that the Is that Allies right? had. I think so, Is Eindhoven. Right? He's got a pretty nice touch. He, yeah. He's, uh, Again, they won him back in Holland. Now, at first, he hardly got any training for basketball over there, and then he found out he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won him stay. back. That's right. First, Rick Smith with his seventh point. They get that angle down there, Villanova. It's tough to defend. They make two people make a decision. Exactly right. They keep you guessing, and then they swing it, and then it's the, the, on the swing, you got to be ready to shoot. If they swing it to Jensen, they'll be ready to shoot it. Villanova by eight, Kevin, and no, not Jensen. commanding either. Right, here's Jensen. They, I knew that you can almost see what they're going to do offensively, but they do it so well. Oh, Wilbur able to come up with it. That's just good individual play by Wilbur. It might have been a foul, but he got away with it. The, the aggressive defense has been a difference. So of course, far. he's at home. They're not supposed <laughs> to call those here. Exactly right. Ten-point lead is totally done by defense in this game. 32-22, it's, it's aggressive defense, and we all know it's a difference. Good luck. You can see there the inexperience. Bugarel should have squared up, don't you think? Uh, he, he's really uh, very inexperienced, and it? it's that side. It's always short from the right side. No. And Wilbur really used poor judgment, I thought, going in there. It never fails. You miss a shot, you go after it, and you combat, compound the mistake by fouling in the backcourt, and it's it's two shots if they're in the, if when the penalty. So a shot at Doug West from Altoona. Back in the basketball game. Looks like he's going to be one of the premier players in this league. I, I believe he's going to be one of the premier uh, players in the entire country. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. They were going to take it out of bounds. Huh? I was very impressed this first game that I seen him play, and uh, he's even gotten a little bit better because now he's shooting the outside jumper with a lot of confidence. Yeah, great game against Seton Hall. That man doesn't look like he won the national championship. <laughs> it's late years away. I believe you know, so, Billy, from coaching in, in the college ranks, and when you have a game like this in between the, the schedule, you lose schedule, it's got to be pretty difficult. And a nice tip to himself, too, by Rick Smith. I believe that's number nine. Ninth point of the evening, 32-24, Villanova. I would look at the situation. If they can handle the pressure defense oh. on Maris, they'd have a shot of beating Villanova. Well, Massey should have had that pass. It was he a little harsh, but... And they gave the ball to Maris. I thought it went off uh, one of the Maris players, but they'll take it. I'm sure they will. <laughs> A lot more points, I think, compared to what we expected. Exactly. With four minutes to go, they're already in the 30s. He is not very, bad. That was very impressive. He, that's, a, that's a turnaround jump shot. I, I know there's a lot of guys I've coached in the NBA can't do that. I tell you, he said to Forrest D.A., please get me the basketball, too. He picked up some Americanese quickly. <laughs> right, yeah. 
Oh, that's good defense, though. There might have been a foul on the, on the big guy, but uh, a situation. He was there. He was ready to help out, and that's a big plus. Rudy Bugarel. I call him Rudy. Yeah, you got it's a little Bugarel. easy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little Al McGuire in you. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we didn't have names like that around when we were kids. You know, it was uh, John, Joe, and Bill. 33-26 Velnova, and it's number three, I believe, on Rudy Bugarel. I'll tell you one thing, Bugarel's got a sensational body for basketball. Again, he's a young player, but if he could ever get some skills with that body, and he could run the floor also. Kevin, could you imagine Luke on a second coach in this team? He wouldn't know any of their names. <laughs> you got that guy, him? <laughs> nice move. Alan Forestier, and he rested about 15 minutes, and... Got his composure. He missed, he missed the first shot and never got back to now. A little too deep. That was a bad shot. Raleigh did not like that shot by West. That was too deep and too quick. 34-28, Villanova. Terrific challenge there. Harold Jensen. Forestier really went for the block, but Jensen did a great job. He knew he was going to get fouled, and he just waited and waited on the play. He took it nice and slow and waited for the defense to commit himself. Take the foul. He's a good foul shooter, and maybe get lucky and make the three-point play, but it's good to grab that contact and go to the foul line. Pretty good dribbling, too, behind the backer down at his own end. I didn't believe he had that kind of skill. That was pretty impressive. I believe in the, in this game right now, if, if Maris can make the adjustment at halftime, Billy, to handle the, the pressure, up, they'll, they'll be in the game. Because they play with confidence when they get down in the offensive end. Well, you know, timeouts. Some people think you get a drink, they relax. Uh, a lot can be done to get you either back in or control a game. Because on the full court trap, they're taking it all the way. I like to see them do that. They take the ball all the way. Don't bring it back out. Try to score initially right on the, uh, against the trap. But they've done that when they've, when they've broken it. That's Harold Jensen's ninth point to give Villanova a 36 to 28 lead. And we'll be back, back for more of this first half after these words. Back at the Jake Nevin Fieldhouse, Villanova with a 36 and Maris with 28. And right there you see Reggie Williams. I had a chance to see him the other night. And I think Georgetown's going to be pretty good by the end of the year. The Dodge Player of the Week, Reggie Williams of Georgetown. They played. Of course, we'll see some of this coming up at halftime. Musical review. Billy McCoy putting it together. I'm sure his wife did most of the work. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Our director. Some first half highlights and standings and scores. Here's again extension of the defense by Villanova. It's caused 12 turnovers by Maris, and that's been the difference in the game, 12 to 7. Now, I'm sure they want him to take that. It didn't look pretty. Now, as you mentioned, once you miss, you're a little embarrassed. A, you compound the mistake. That, that wasn't a bad shot. It was really, uh, it looks like a textbook type shot that they really just taught it to him that he didn't have any idea what that shot was all about about a year ago. And then he goes in and fouls on, on the play. That was not a good foul. You know, over the years, you can see the improvement of the foreign players. And Billy Packer, of course, not a fan. I mentioned of the foreign players playing in college. How do you feel about that? I, believe, I, I watched Shrimp play uh, for Dallas the other night against Portland. And Shrimp is not only a good player, but he's really an instinctive player. But I think he had the advantage of coming over here and getting outstanding coaching. If they don't come over here to get the coaching, maybe they're starting a couple years of high school and then continue to college. They'll never be uh, a pro player. But uh, I think the better coaching they get, the better they're going to be. They can play. Of course, with tapes now and things of that nature, films. Presley with his seventh point, and he doesn't have a field goal. All on the foul line. He hasn't made a shot yet from the floor. 38-28. Back to the 10, and the pressure once again. That's been the difference, as we said many times. That time, Rillanova had three people almost uh, f uh, uh, 92 feet all the way up, right on the ball almost that time. Well, ever Everson, you really get nervous when he gets the basketball deep. <laughs> That's the one he's got to convert, though. But he hustles, but he gives you an effort. He's a favorite of the fans, and the coaches respond to him as well. That was a definite walk. You have to put the ball on the floor before you start running, and that was a definite walk by Faristier. And, uh, again, that's what uh, the, for Janik, their coach, said, that they don't have the real instinctive skills, and that hurts them. Yeah, he's the, one, the only one, I might say, a little shaken 
by the field house here where they can make some noise. That's exactly right. He got off to bad start and it's just basically continued. Maris 14th turnover to substantiate what you've been saying to Villanova 7. See, I think defensively, which Maris is pretty good at, you don't have to be overly skilled to play defense. Uh, the instincts of the game, and that's why they're better defensive club than they are offensively. That was North Carolina jump switch right there. They almost come up with the steal. Here it is. <laughs> Good read. <laughs> Conley Brown got away with a walk there. He, he did walk also. He <laughs> slipped on the ice. We've seen six or seven different defenses by Real Nova. It does confuse an opponent. Oh, great look. He just can't convert that. Maybe you uh, ought to go up the normal way. <laughs> that's right. He's probably better off taking it off on the taking it up strong on the same side. And you can see now it's a thing that you see an awful lot. It's almost like coming from behind the backboard where Presley Presley was. As you said, maybe he'd be better off taking it straight up on the same side. And uh, he, he kind of seeps from behind and, and behind the defense. And Jensen hit him with an outstanding pass. Two. Number two on Rick Smiths. But that baseline pass Villanova over the years has been very good at dumping it down there, either getting the move to the goal or running somebody down the lane for the dish. Exactly right. And it does get the ball behind the defense. And that's very important where everybody has to turn their head. And that's when they lose their men. Uh, that, are, that are out in front of them. So it's a good way to attack a, a zone. Presley, 8 for 12, all foul shots. If he can make some baskets, <laughs> he'll be in good shape. Here's a jump switch again. North Carolina jump switch. Because these two guards have handled the different looks very well. Kemp it up in the air. Nice play by Will. They pulled up, kind of faked the man up, and, and it's a good shot. Good touch on the shot also. Smith ran right by him. I thought he could have put a hand up and blocked exactly it. Exactly right. I, think, I don't think he could stop. A little composure lost by uh, Maris against the, uh, the, the trap of defenses and the jump switch that uh, Ruinov is doing right now. Well, Alain Forestier really trying to do it all now. You know, forcing a little bit, and I like Smith's effort that time going for the basketball. I think the one thing with Faristia, he, he really gets into a, a, like a 190 mile an hour game, and you have to play this game at different levels and in different gears. And he's at a top gear almost all the time. That can get you in trouble against a club like Real Nova. I right, Kevin, 127 left. Maris behind, 41-28. I know you haven't been behind much in your <laughs> life. What does Coach Fergenic have to do? I think when you go in at halftime, you really have to tell the players when they pressure us, you've got to make sure that you make a real aggressive pass. And what we've seen also, come to the ball. You really, it sounds so simple. You know, you've been telling players all your life, come to the ball and meet it. But that's been the whole difference in the game. If they weren't turning the ball over, they would they have a shot to beat Villanova. Of course, the scouting so important. Villanova prepared with the press, and these are the other games today. Looks like a pretty good card. Oh, that's a that's great team. It's amazing how far the Big East has come, and uh, I mean Seton Hall has a good club right now. You don't go into the uh, the Big East against any any team, particularly on a road with a with a sure win, and that's all gone. Of course, you know what it's done too, Kevin. The Big East. A lot of kids, including yourself, you started at Boston College. If the league had been formed in the 50s, a lot of great talent would have never left the northeastern section of the country. Exactly right. I watched Boston College play Syracuse the other night, and you got a Syracuse with over 20,000 people in, the, in a dome up there, and that's unbelievable. I would never have thought that Syracuse could ever have a situation like that in Connecticut and all the big TV contracts. It's, I think it's as good as any conference in the country. Sound like you want to coach in the league. <laughs> it's, it's too hard. And, you know, a nice play by Maris just happened to be deflected out of bounds. Shamley discussed that they had a layup if he could have controlled. That's tough when you set up a play, it works, but the execution it just doesn't happen. The idea was good, but the execution was poor. It's really a flat-looking zone. It really it causes you to shoot the ball outside. They're broken in by uh, getting Presley behind it a few times, but you have to shoot it from outside. With a minute and ten left, Villanova, 43. Maris, 28. Now Maris got to settle down. They're losing their composure a little bit, and they're looking, they're getting that defeatist look on their faces they didn't have before. Villanova's got them rushing a lot, and a heck of oh, a move. Carlton Wade 
and the slide as well, Kevin, that to was, avoid the charge. That was an excellent individual uh, effort by Wade. I mean, he took the ball in deep, had a hang in the air. It's amazing how the small guys can do it. It's all the way to the hoop, hangs in the air, gets fouled, had the presence of mind to finish the shot. Just a little like Spud Webb. He, that's exactly right. Again, he took, he took it to the basket. It wasn't really good help from the weak side, but uh, he did a good job himself. That's kind of a big hoop because they were getting a bad sign and a bad look about themselves. And 12 points is not a big deficit, but if they got the 16-18, they're big trouble. And seven points now for Carlton Wade. 50 seconds left, Villanova 43, Maris 31. This first time we see Maker, and uh, again, he's, he's important to their club. Number 12, Drafton Davis. A little frustrated there with that shove. They got themselves in early foul trouble in this game. They've committed an awful lot of fouls, and Villanova's been to the line several times on a one-on-one -on -one situation, and uh, that's mistakes just like turning the basketball over. This maker with that knee band on. Smith's going out, relaxing, making sure he doesn't get number three. That's a good substitution. You don't want to get the third one before halftime. Again, and we talked about West, and as you said, Billy, this, this young man is going to have a big, big-time career. First, somewhat of a controversy with the mention of allegations up at Pittsburgh during the course of the year, and let's hope that all straightens itself out. Situation that it looks like they might be looking to take the last shot. I don't know when you're down 14. You should probably go for the best one with 40 seconds left. But what happens frequently is when you slow it down, you end up with a bad one. That's exactly it? right. Particularly in a situation with a 45-second clock, it's pretty hard to ask your team to hold it that long. Well, he might not like his lineup either. You know, he subs to save the fouls. Maybe he figures otherwise defensively he might give up one. I think from a coaching standpoint, it seems like you almost have to do it. You know, <laughs> some things you have to do right. in coaching. It's in the book. That's right. Here they go. They'll probably get a bad shot. Here it is. Got a pretty good shot at the buzzer, so they did a good job. And if Forrest A could get squared uh -huh. away, they, they could, could make a run. Exactly right. Not too bad, really. Handled the press a little bit better and got themselves knocking at the door. Look for more in the second half. We'll be right back with more action right after this word from your local station. Big East Basketball is brought to you by Piedmont, the number one airline to over 100 cities coast to coast. And by Avis, the official rental car of the Big East Conference. Once more, back at Villanova with the Wildcats at a 14-point lead over Marist. And the stats and uh, your viewpoints on those, Kevin. Well, the biggest uh, stat you have is the 16 to 8 turnovers, which we've talked about several times. Marist is out rebound them. They shot the ball well. But you can't have twice as many turnovers and eight particularly against Real Nova in their own building. That's the And difference. you alluded to the free throws. 21 made <laughs> out of 25. That'll win some games for you, won't it? I'll tell you one thing. When you're coaching, you always get upset at that. Here's a good fan right here. But they start them off young. And we're getting to that. They finally talked to me, the officials. You notice? I, th I know the officials, when they see both of us doing a game, they got to be frightful. <laughs> <laughs> Davey Pollock, he never looked at me when I was on the sideline. Now he's trying to help me do a little homework here. Everybody wants to be an analyst, right? And you can see, <laughs> yeah, exactly, 22 straight victories here at the field house. And, of course, Jake was the trainer when you were at St. John's and uh, I went to LaSalle. Man. What are he, you, sweetheart? He meant to, I was here when they dedicated the building to him and that was really an exciting day and it was heartwarming and uh, he had uh, he was a sensational man. Of course, Roley, uh, part of his decision to, to stay and there's a shot of him with the ever-clenched cigar. Right. Because he used to put it in some of the players' shoes, the ashes. <laughs> <laughs> he was a rogue, wasn't he? He was loved by everybody. In identifying the people on the floor. Of course, at the guard spot, Kenny Wilson. A little pick and roll there, Mark Polanski. They're going to call a block on Carlton Wade. He thought he played good defense and a look of man to man here, Kevin. Yeah, that was the first time they really come out man to man and stretched out that defense. I, I guess they feel they've, uh, they've given up too many points at this stage. Inbounding Harold Jensen. Good post up down there by Mark Plansky. Ball out of bounds, they went to his own on the out of bounds. 
There's your favorite stroke. How does it slant on this end? <laughs> well, they, they still attack from the left side. It's, uh, it's amazing how many shots. They've taken uh, twice as many shots from the left side as the right. At the point, drafting Davis number 12 on the wing. Carlton Wade number 14 in deep. And really, we haven't called that name often. Miroslav <laughs> Pekarski, number 43. Again, it was a turnaround move, and it's one they practice an awful lot. It's not instinctive, but it was successful there. And back to that man you mentioned. This is, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they play the straight man to man defense. Well, over very tough against man. <laughs> oh, Harold Presley finally nailed one of those, and he went <laughs> with the left hand and didn't try and dipsy do. Again, the big difference was he didn't have to go against the zone. It was a man to man defense. Well, over 49. Maris 33, another turnover. Wilson. Hang time. Great move by Wilson. One thing that Wilson does, he dribbles the ball extremely high, and you have to be careful that. That was a tough shot. Now, for years, people at clinic said, keep it low. You don't see as much as that, even in the NBA. A the, lot of high dribbling. Yeah. Forrest DA has been quiet. Good follow by Miro. Pekarski. Pekarski's had two straight hoops, and he, didn't, he was quiet the first half. He wasn't even involved in the game. Only he was 0 for 2. 18-20 left, Villanova 51, Maris 35, good post pass, Presley, this might be on Smits, Rick Smits from the rear. Presley's too quick for Smits in, in deep. And, I uh, think they gave it to Forrest D.A., he's having a bad night all the way around. Boy, he's isn't having he? a tough <laughs> night, it compounds, he, he really is struggling on both ends of the floor, and again, uh, sometimes as you said, certain buildings will affect uh, certain people different ways, and this is a tough place to play, and he's been bothered most by it. We played here a, four, a few years ago, and one of Roley's early years, obviously they weren't too good, we were ahead, <laughs> and uh, they canceled the game with three minutes to go. Is that right? Yeah, because the crowd really got into it, threw a couple of fish, and it wasn't Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Presley with his 11th point. 17-point lead now by Villanova. 1-3-1 one, one show. Let's see if they can get the break. Ooh. Ooh. Good recovery by Smith on that errant pass by Drafton Davis. He just knows what to do. He's not. A, he's got a good touch. He's not a bad basketball player. And uh, I think with a couple of years, you'll have to see really an excellent basketball player. He switched there. Macy. Oh, Presley can really go by him now, huh? That's, that's asking uh, Smiths to do too much to take Presley 20, 22 feet from the basket. That was just a simple turnover move. That's probably why they don't like to go man to man. That's it. He was isolated. That's asking too much. Nice move by Presley. Went with the left hand, missed the shot. He's on the foul line again. He shot an awful lot of foul shots in this game. He was 8 for 12 in the first half and he's back there again. And uh, Smith is not going to be able to go away from the heat. Number three on him also, which could be a problem. They'll probably have to go back to the zone. Smith with 13 points. And, of course, Presley been on that foul line all evening. He doesn't need many field goals. Hey, he's, he's starting to shoot him real well. You get on that enough, you get good practice and become a better foul shooter. 13 points. 54-37 below. A little trap at half court and a step in. West finally came up with one. And send it in. <laughs> Dougie West. <laughs> That's Major League, the, the jump and run defense. West stole the ball, went in, slammed up. You have to call timeout. It's another thing a coach must do. After a play like that, automatic, you better call timeout. And some nights the people don't stop applauding, though. They get worse <laughs> after you come back to play. That was a great effort. Good trap, and West came close a few times, Kevin. I'm sure we'll see more of that from Roley Massimino. We'll be back with more of the second half here at Villanova after these words. Everybody got into the basketball game here at Villanova on that steal by Doug West. Villanova 56, Maris 37. Here's the pressure in the trap by Jensen. The size of the guard for Maris hurts them. He loops the pass. Here comes West with a sensational slam dunk. This is putting it away. That's getting up there pretty good, Bill. That's insurance, huh? You used to be able to jump like that <laughs> when you were playing, Bill. Oh, sure. I got a piece of the net every once in a while, but that's with authority. <laughs> he went up and gave it a look, and then he Ooh. jammed it down there. That's pretty good. That's for the camera, a little <laughs> look away. Right. But sometimes small guards does bother the club, and I think we have very small guards for Maris. So that does hurt against traps. Uh, Here it is again. That's right. Villanova looked to go right after it. Carlton Wade with the jumper. 
Smith's again on the offensive rebound, but the uh, trap was effective because they took a quick shot. Exactly. They followed it up, but they took the quick shot. Now with the man-to-man, -man, Maris saying they're playing better this year, but Villanova really pounds it in deep on you once you go man. And there's a walk, and he had Harold Jensen going back door down on the box. The play was there. Macy is the young man from the Bronx from St. Raymond's that has is going to have to get into uh, the form that they expected because he was a talented high school player. Some guys take a little longer. Exactly right. He's not getting as many minutes as the other young players. Once again, Davis trying to penetrate and that's a good point you brought up the size now they've got speed but big front line out outside they can't see inside Presley on the inbounds to Smith doing all he can do to reach his chest you know the one situation that with the big guards they uh, the, what uh, Rillanova has they can move west to the point those uh, the play as a guard and he makes the play by just looking over people the smaller players have a tough time nice slap away it's going to be i believe maris basketball with presley coming up with the steal now you mentioned massey you don't become all city in new york two years in a row and not be a player it's tougher for some players to adjust that first year things go well for them or a guard sometimes has an easier time and he's like a post type of player if i'm not mistaken exactly right and he's had the most difficult time breaking into raleigh's type game that's a, that, that's hurt him Kenny Wilson directing for Villanova. Little shuffle cut by Jensen. He backs out. So that was a little size situation for Wilson. He got caught down in deep and uh, didn't really want to shoot the basketball, but got hung up because of size. They took a bad shot. He's looking for the foul, but uh, this isn't a St. Anthony's game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Little trap from the weak side now. That's unusual. Wes ran when the dribbler. Here it is again. Wilson. And actually forced him into a tough shot, but Carlton Wade able to deliver the narrow at 56 Villanova. 41 Maris. 15 point lead. They look for Presley to reverse the ball because uh, Smith can't come out and guard him. I think Wilson took that shot because he was upset before. He's going to come out, I guarantee that. Well, I don't know, Plansky's coming in for somebody, but Wilson's allowed to come out. I think Here he comes Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck and catch. Carlton Wade right on the money to Smith. Villanova able to negate it. Wilson the dish to Jensen. Pace is picked up quite a bit here, but because no one's making their shots and it doesn't give Villanova a chance to really get set. You get the feeling that Roley feels Villanova's better and he's going to go at Maris both offensively as well as the press. Particularly against the man to man. Steps, I believe, called and you called it, coach. You sat on enough benches to know. <laughs> you can the almost, hook. <laughs> uh, the hook comes quick for the freshman, too. You got to teach him a little lesson. And Raleigh, would, he's talking to him right now. And, uh, Remember Frank McGuire <laughs> used to smile and call you obscene things <laughs> under his breath. I think Raleigh has that down, too. <laughs> Everybody in the stands thought he's such a nice man, but smiling at you. What a class guy. <laughs> West in deep and a great follow by Plansky. <laughs> Barris, in essence, trying to get some control, and that's... That graphically illustrates the problems they're having. That's been the total difference. Good looking shot again. Karski in deep. Wilbur with the back off now, establishing the half court set for Villanova. Wilbur's got a lot of experience at the point, and he can run off. They can use a little clock too, it won't hurt them. Right. Davis, good, peel back by Villanova, stopping that fast break. Wade to Smith, he just keeps his hands up. <laughs> Maybe they didn't really teach him that, that seems to be his style, but it's very effective. And he makes the little, little jump, as you know, is the toughest shot in basketball. Sure he makes is, that. medium range. He makes that. 17 points now for the sophomore from Eindhoven, Holland. And finally, huh? Presley having his problems with the layups, that time able to deliver. 
Presley really has been forcing the issue a little bit. That time he made a little smoother move, but... Take a look at it. I think Shamley ends again, up fouling, it, Kevin. It's a pretty good move right here across the basket again. But he's, he, he really likes to pound the ball down and deep, and he, he's getting to the line an awful lot. Correction, it might be Pekarski with the foul. So they took out Smith. Unfortunately, he, he was the man. Yeah, that's right. That's His right. Fourth, fourth foul. foul. And, uh, now they're small. Let's see how they if they remain man to man with the small line. 58-43 Villanova. 13-45 remaining. Wade with a nice ball fake on the penetration. Not a bad rebound, but I think Bukarski, Miro over the top. He's saying they don't call on that me overseas. <laughs> I really think it was a pretty good play in a situation that does take away your aggressiveness when you get called for fouls like that. And uh, it's good hustle, and he was going to the offensive boards like you teach, so it's not a bad foul. It's fourth foul also. All right, they've got some problems. Out for Chanik Pleaty for some divine intervention here at Villanova. <laughs> good post up by Presley, something the Villanova players have done very well. Hold and put that guide hand out. Around the horn now, Plansky looking in. Heck of a post pass. Good rebound in there. That was very good offense. What they did, Villanova, is just put Presley down deep in the post and moved the ball around. The other four people just passed it around looking in, and he finally got it. He's got to convert that shot, though. He hasn't yeah. been able to. I think the big guys were a problem, but that time he didn't have that. Of course, Matt Frigenic is not agreeing at all with the officials. Well, when the differential is What a fake, oh, Kevin. Nice Wilbur, and what a dunk by Plansky. They're going to call an offense, but that took some strength and timing as well. That was a sensational individual effort. He was up quick. The quickness of the jump was sensational. But uh, what's happened in the situation right now with uh, Maris, they're starting to get the look. It uh, happened a little bit in the first half one time. But maybe they can't beat Villanova. Then you can get in big trouble. Presley with number three. Shots get a little tougher at this point, too, don't they, when you're down 15? It sure does. He's made good penetration, Wade. He gets in there and he uh, sneaks in there. He's not a big guy, but he sneaks in there and gets the shots off. Not afraid. No. Mark Plansky not happy with that call either. But you may see more of that without the big guys. Villanova backing it in. And both guards, Davis and Wade, don't relish the jump shot as much as the penetration. You have to, particularly your, your guards, have to be able to shoot from the outside. And in close games, when the defense really gets tough, they don't get as many chances to drive the middle. And uh, they have to make the outside shot. Wade nearly number 10. See, well, Wilson's back in the game, Billy. Uh, they want him to get every minute of experience that he could possibly can. Raleigh just wanted to show him a little bit that you don't take a wild shot, but he needs the experience because he's a big part of this team. Uh, he's the director and the extension from the bench. Everson in the ball game now, the post around the horn. Plansky, you'll see them pry. They did it very well. Wilbur. Well executed. Good, great picks. Set it down on the baseline, away from the ball. That'll get a man open. Skip pass has really helped now. It's a different game than the, the old days. Though. So over the top. Nice block by Everson. I believe Wilbur with the reach in. But Everson did a nice job. Uh, blocked this shot and he made a good block. It wasn't one of them. What's good about this block, he doesn't slam the ball away. He just taps it away, gives it a chance to maybe get it back. Shamley came up with the ball and the foul on Wilbur. And deep. Wade again. Of course, he's been looking for his shots, hasn't he? Yeah, he's not bashful. I'd like to see Everson get in low and do some damage for Villanova. Blansky able to convert. Can shoot the ball. He's a, he's a very good, he's a little like Jensen. He got a good stroke on it and he can shoot it. Villanova 62 to 45 now in control with 12 minutes remaining. Ooh, Conley Brown pulling a Doug West and poor Alan Forestier. He wishes he were on the Riviera in the sun. <laughs> That's right. He's having a tough night, a couple of walks. He's, he's fumbled the ball a few times. He's struggled tonight. He has been struggling. And of course, you got to tee it up another night. He's got to forget <laughs> about this particular one. But we'll return with Villanova head 62 to Maris 45. 
Kevin, we're not the only ones at these ball games that gets into the thick of the action. Occasionally, we have a cameraman who is in an inopportune spot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> web out. <laughs> Harold Presley just implanted <laughs> number 21 on Cody's chest. He's trying to get a different angle for the shot. That's all. He's it working on another angle right now out there at the foul line. <laughs> That's a better angle. <laughs> Plymouth Rookie of the Week, Jerome Lane in Pittsburgh. And I saw him throw a dunk down reminiscent of Double D Darrell Dawkins at his best in a great win over Georgetown. Pittsburgh has a pretty good basketball club, don't they? they You'll uh, enjoy watching them. They have some young players that are very good. And they, they played small. They're going to a smaller set. It's made them better. Charlie Smith to center. Kenny Wilson, reverse Everson. Chuck Everson looking to dump it in. Man to man now by Marist. You know, Conley Brown, I was down in Beaumont for the Lamar game and Roley was nice enough to start him and he had a <laughs> struggle that night in front of his family, but Roley stuck with him. Promised him it and that's the price you pay in recruiting. That's exactly right. I thought he held the dribble too long there. He got a bailout pass, Kenny Wilson. Everson did the right thing rolling, but uh, a little too much pounding right now. Exactly. I don't think Raleigh wants to see that. He wants the ball reversed through the top. And you notice every player for Real Nova that catches the ball on the top will, will have the ball over his head to look for the pass. One and one right now for Wilson. Of course, I agree with you in terms of his growth. The more minutes, the better he'll become. The more situations he'll see but he can direct the club. Well, he's a good basketball player. He had a good opener against Seton Hall, and uh, and it was a tough basketball game to play on the road, and, and it was a hard-fought game all the way, and he played very well. Now well, that would have made it double figures, but nine points on the evening for Wilson as Villanova leads 63-45, 18-point balls. They're looking for that left side also with McCants. <laughs> they heard your tape at the half. Drafting Davis, behind the back, able to score. Signals number one, looks like some full court pressure. Ooh, oh, Dwight that's... Wilbur. Now that's what happens, and, and bear me out if, if you think I'm right or disagree. They look for Wilson to run the break, they look for Wilson to run the show. That time Dwight Wilbur, he was overplayed, tried to give it to him and ended up walking. It's habits, but yeah. it's just habits. In practice, maybe they'll let him give it back to Wilson. And it's a good aggressive defense. Good ball movement. The cans in the corner. Good swing too. Well schooled, Maris. Wilson up the left side. Polanski. The cut and a little pick and roll they ran before with Chuck Everson. They're gonna call it on the big guy, paying the price for those extra Big Macs. <laughs> I think they called the foul on uh, on Maris, though, didn't they? Oh, did they? Yeah, they called on Wade for pushing into uh, Everson, and Everson's going to go to the foul line for one and one and there's an awful lot of foul shots being shot by Rowan Over. It's a charity contest. <laughs> it sure is. I tell you, though, Maris has hung tough. It's a 14-point game. They had a chance to really get blown out of this game. They've hung in pretty well, and uh, they're well-coached ball club. Uh, Chuck never played in your league. The ceiling's in your church league. I thought he moved on this. Of course, here's a little bump. Yeah, there's the bump. It was oh, a two-arm yeah, two bump by, by yeah, Wade. Yeah, five and ten. That's right. Let <laughs> him play. Timer. Let him play, right? Oh, my goodness. He never uh -oh. played a CYO, would he? <laughs> I think he, <laughs> he hit the pass there to pump it. But I'm going to let him try again. They jump in too soon by Maris. They win the lane too quickly. You have so much time to get in the lane when the ball, by the time the ball gets down, everybody's up Your there. Your timing's <laughs> up. The ball comes down cold. There's someone in there already. Not bad. This time, Real Nova was in the lane almost too soon. We got R.C. Massimino in the ball game. Chuck Everson, two points on the evening. Grafton Davis into the corner to McCants. Rudy Bugarell in the low post trying to dish it into him. Kick around. Beckwith on the left side. Good penetration. Ooh, a little grab there on Doug West. 
Maris fortunate that it wasn't seen. <laughs> exactly right, and good hustle by Shanley uh, trying to get the ball out of bounds. But, you know, uh, they do the job what you want from a coaching standpoint, Maris. Sometimes physically they just don't have as much talent as real enough. R.C. Massimino with a little tan, maybe enjoy the way. That's it. Good post up and not bad defense at all by Shambly. Bad pass. Good dish off to Shamley. Nice run there. Drafting Davis leading the break. And, you know, as you mentioned, 65-51. Knocking at the door, give a club a chance to believe in themselves, as Marist is right now. Perfect break. Gave him the ball at the right time. So many times the lead guard will wait too long and give the ball a little late to the play and he can't catch it in stride. Shamley caught the ball exactly in stride, and then you're able to take the ball somewhat stronger to the hoop, which he's got a chance for three-point play. So he's played very well, I believe, Mark Shamley. Defensively, he's really tried to do a job on Presley. Running, good all-out effort. 13 points now, Villanova in the lead. Massimino to the corner to West. Presley cross court. Good screen down, and West able to take the jumper but not convert. McCants with the rebound. This is the biggest uh, opportunity for Maris right here. They got a chance to cut it to 11. McCants at the point. Beckwith really trying to get an angle slot for a shot. Davis sliding down now. The gamble with Spitz in the ball game. He's got four fouls. And I guess you got to go for it, though. Good cross court. Everything but the goal. Right. Harold Jensen with a great lead, and that's for the folks in Altoona. <laughs> the anticipation of the fans every time Wes gets out of the break situation shows you he's a player with charisma. That's not only good, but also with charisma. It's only a deuce, but it does excite everybody. It does. It's a great shot. That's the fans' biggest reaction by the fans. 12 the points. Skip past the McCants. Good baseline drive. West over late. I'll tell you, Maris does not back off. They were really. concerned about West slam. Exactly right, Billy. Again, uh, this might have been a little bit of a walk on the play. It goes baseline. He might have skipped. But a great uh, taking it hard to the basket. Gets, gets fouled. And Maris has not backed down. They execute very well. At times, they uh, just don't uh, convert because physically they're not great players, but they do what the coaches tell, tells them to do, and uh, they're well-coached ball club. Would you have expressed that to the official that he skips, sir? <laughs> not that. I mean, how only could you on use TV. the word skip? O only on TV <laughs> can you say that. <laughs> oh. If they could only see you now. Uh, Joker <laughs> Shoe and company. That's right. <laughs> In the backcourt now, pressure by Davis on Wilson and looking up the floor, which you like point guards to see what's going on. See the whole floor. All right, Jensen kicking it back out. Good cross court passing. That's a pretty play. That's a good play by Wilson. He took it to the hoop, but I think you have to take the jump shot because good you get point. yourself in a situation against bigger clubs and better talented clubs, you can get in trouble. He's got to look for it. Wilson with 11 points with that little kiss. Good post up by Shamley. Bad shot. You know, the old days, some of the clubs that I happen to coach said, let's get it inside. Almost an interception now. Wilson's got to show the ball on that wing pass, particularly with the good athletes playing today. But you'd say get it inside, and you'd get it to somebody who couldn't do anything with it anyhow. <laughs> That's exactly right. Just happened there. They did a great great effort by Maris to get the ball down in deep to Shambly. But that's probably not his strong suit, and he takes a fadeaway shot over his left shoulder and misses it by an awful lot. What's your impression so far seeing Villanova grow during this season? Oh, well, I'm impressed mostly by is the two young freshmen. I, I, not, not so much West, in all honesty, because West is the type of play you see him for five minutes, and you know you got something special. I wasn't sure earlier if Wilson was going to be able to do what he's doing out there today. He's going to make some mistakes, definitely, but I never thought he could mature so quickly and perform as well as he played and run the whole show at this stage. Chris, look at the standings there. Uh, one of the cheerleaders with a leg in her face fumbled there <laughs> prior to it. It's early in the year. I think there'll be a lot of losses this year, just judging. Saw a little of the Syracuse BC game. I think they're the cream right now of the crop, but uh, a lot of even teams. We were talking before the game, St. John's with a titanic struggle up against Providence. Very lucky Rick Pitino had his club ready. It's amazing how they scored. They were down with three seconds to go and the ball in their own hoop, and they had to throw the ball into the floor. 
and Barry was fouled. I guess it was a bad foul, and, he, and he made, he's not the best foul shooter in America either. And he made both foul shots to put it in overtime. I think St. John's start team is the next one team. And a shot there of Jake's retired number. Billy Donovan, the guard who fouled and put in what would have been the winning basket. And I'm glad to see him playing so well for Rick Pitino. A shot of them. It looks like he got a new suit this year. Well, he's done it all. He's very well dressed, very calm. Cool I, collect. I turned on the Bible reading early this morning here in town, <laughs> and he was doing commercials. <laughs> he's only 60 and 8 here. Is that oh, not bad? Not bad at all. Pretty good one loss record overall 270 and 159. I had the 270, but on the wrong end. <laughs> Easy. Looking for Presley down deep. Plansky, Prine, and wise guy in the truck, Billy McCoy, said that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Oh, Jensen tried to slap it away. Little altercation there. Beckwith, little frustration maybe. But a good try by Harold Jensen. And then they try and swoop and tip away. That's the play that you can't get in trouble with. The, the player kind of feels that you're slapping him almost in the face. But it was just trying to steal the ball. And it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And he makes both of these. We got uh, seven minutes with a 12-point game. And uh, you never know. Chris Jensen with three fouls. You had Michael Jordan, uh, and I'm not saying this to compare Doug West to him, but some of the instincts look similar. You know, Jordan can do everything. What I like about West, if you compare him with, uh, with Jordan, uh, is a situation that West really pulls up strong for the jump shot, and, that, that's, and he, he's got a real good leaping ability for the jump shot. Not many people have that. Beckwith with his second point, and as you mentioned, 7-18, 69 Villanova, 57. Able to handle the press that time, and ooh, from the rear, McCants. I thought he may have gotten away with a bump, but you have to be alert if you're a guard. Right back at them if that goes. 10, that's the magic number with seven remaining. Full court pressure now, and they have his shot blocked, and it splits back. Ooh, bad pass, and right now, Time Those out. that should be rattling are the rattlees, huh? And it's going to be a timeout by rolling over again. They couldn't handle the pressure of the full court the last two times down the floor. And Shamley's done a good job, though. You've said it several times. He's got 12 points. He's done an excellent job in this game. Can't relax in this game, huh? you got a <laughs> commanding lead. All of a sudden, your club is giving it back. And we'll keep you tuned when we come back after these words. Of course, it's a little early to decide, Kevin, but you've been good at uh, making decisions. Uh, a little later on the game, we'll have the Plymouth player of the game. And right now, I know Roli Massimino, he likes his pasta after the game. If he had it before, he'd have a little agita. This is a time for Maris coming down the floor. If they make a hoop, it cut it to eight. And uh, it's starting to get real nervous, a little concern. You can look at the lineup. The, the players are back out there. There's Wilson, and they're, they're trapping again. It's aggressive. Right, right after the timeout, he's saying, that's enough of this. Let's go for it. Good ball movement to get it in tight to Shamley. Nice pass. Whew. Rick Smiths. tell you, he is alert. I mean, you don't teach that. Yeah, he can catch the bat. He's got pretty good hands for big man. Here's the full court pressure. Wilson has to look up the floor. Plansky, fortunate, didn't go back and over. Did you notice that? The trap, they can give it to either Shamley or Draft and Davis. That was perfect execution of the trap. That's exactly where you want to trap. Just a step or two before they get over half court. And uh, it was fortunate that there wasn't a 10 second violation by Villanova on that, uh, and it was a foul call. 69-61, Villanova. It's something to, to have real good shooters from uh, the guys oh, that can free that jump shot. That's why they've been tough, you know. They get the ball inside, they play good inside defense, and they make those type of shots, that's you know, to extend the lead or creep within a couple. Nine points now, excuse me, eight points by Plansky. Davis to McCants, around the perimeter looking inside. Shambly posting up high, Smith's low with the hands up high. Current pass, Wilbur able to, good giveaway, good help again, we've been calling that name all evening, Shamley, 
Certainly did a good job on the block, but if he would have blocked it a little easier, Softly. sometimes guys want to show, show time a little bit. You know, it's always guys like you who never had a block that are telling guys how to block it. He slams this ball away. Good, almost a steal, and they could have got the ball back. You're right. That's a maybe a show-off block, a show huh? time. Yep. I guess I'd done the same thing if I had that ability. <laughs> Presley at the top, looking underneath. Wilbur fans out. Plansky in there a long time. Able to get out of the three-second lane. So that's what I like, the guard telling people where to go. A little pick and roll with West and Wilson. Villanova steps through very well when you trap. Steps. Wilson. And that's, again, your comment. You've got to keep them honest with the jump shot. He's looking to over-penetrate. He's looking to really drive the ball. He and Presley have not, don't have the confidence right now in that jump shot. And when you get the open shot, you've got to take it because you're only causing mistakes. And it's 23-14 in turnovers right now. And uh, Maris is hung in the game. A lot of credit to these players. They sure have. And now Miro Pekarski back in the ball game. 10, Villanova leading Maris. At the point, Davis to Shamley, and boy, he's taking over this game. Mark Shamley out of White Plains, Woodlands High School. He's, he's not a bad basketball player. I was really surprised. I didn't think he was that good. Big Presley almost walked he's there. Close. Shamley with 14 points right now. Man to man, I'm surprised it's been effective. Villanova hasn't been able to get in, into deep and, in deep, and I think it's the defense here on Smith's Polanski, just like they cleared for Presley earlier. Exactly. They bring him up high against Smith. He's got four fouls, and it's tough for him to go out and guard someone on the outside. But to tribute to Polanski, you know, he's a, basically a jump shooter, but he took it to the hoop. Good cross guard pass to Shamley from McCants. Smith didn't react well there on the rebound. That's the shot he has to make. That, that makes you a big timer. That's, that's, and he looked good taking that shot. He, you don't have to drive it all the way to hoop. That's got to be as good as a layup. Kenny Wilson. Amazing to have freshmen doing things you expected your juniors to do years that's, ago. That's exactly right. He's, I didn't think he'd come this quick. He's the leader of this club already. Ronnie McCants looking inside. Smiths again. He's not going to bring it down. You might as well go up and grab him. And that's what Mark Blansky tried to do. The, the one thing with Smith, uh, Smiths and Pekoski, they're not as physical as you would think the uh, farm players would be. But talking to the coach, the coach last night that for Janik, that he feels the foreign players that he have basically all of them aren't very physical. And I thought they were going to be more physical players. For Smiths, I think, as you mentioned earlier, when he bulks up, uh, he's going to be impressive in terms of being able to bump and get a rebound now and then. Exactly right. He's going. He's got 19 points, nine rebounds today, and uh, you know he's playing against Real Nova. It's big time school. Oh. And the big, big East club in their place. 20 points. Going to have probably double figure rebounds. That's not bad. And right now, 75-64, Villanova leading by 11. The trap deep. Blansky able to kick it out to Dwight Wilbur. Good strong move to the goal, and the giveaway. Mark Shamley. <laughs> Handled the pressure very well that time, Villanova. They did. They did a good job taking it to the basket. Wilbur took it hard to the basket, looking for the foul. They got a chance now to put him up by 11. But uh, it's been uh, very similar styles of uh, changing defenses, rotating the ball. Villanova, I think, is a little bit more talented, and that's been the difference in this game. Shamley with number four. Dwight Wilbur with 10. They make it 11. You've seen the, the Big East, Billy. How would you rate Villanova with the other clubs in the middle, Big East? In the right middle now, of the pack? Right now. You know, depending how BC goes, I think they'll be fighting for four and five right in there. Some good basketball clubs. I'm very impressed with St. John's. Uh, Louie really has them playing well, and they're running. I know that surprises you. That surprises everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Including Louie. Let him go, coach. And right now, 77-64 Villanova. We'll be right back. Well, if you're the coach of Maris, Kevin, I would think you've got to score quickly and get some traps and some turnovers. Yeah, that's that's basically what they've been doing. They've been, uh, after every score, trapping full court. They've done all the right things. Uh, they're just not as skilled, but uh, they'll do well in their league. They've been able to get the ball inside easily, too. Of course, good passing that time. Grafton Davis finding Shambly. I'll tell you, they are well-schooled, and... Good ball movement. They're unselfish as well, Maris. 
Oh, Dwight Wilbur. Uh, man not even looking. Doug West and Davis back at him. Ron McCants looking to penetrate. Good post-up play by Maris. The kiss, no good. That's the only thing I think Maris really lacks is outside shoot. They don't have a Plansky or a Jensen that can drill consistently that jump shot. Wilbur to Presley. Actually, in some of these sets, the big guys are the point guards once they get over half court. That's a good setup because they can make the pass from the top. You can see it, you think? You can see the floor better. Jensen, good control there. Look for a back door. Good inside basketball. And West, pretty good ball game, don't you think? West, I, I'd say, has been the best play in the game so far, and has been the best play in the floor today. Is that a vote, or are we going to hold the... Well, that's my keep opinion. It suspense. <laughs> All right, we'll make it unanimous unless there's a change in the tide here. Roly helping make that call. <laughs> Say to Davey, you want to come back? <laughs> we got a game here next week, That's you know. Right. <laughs> they won't let you in. <laughs> this has been a tough place. You played here, didn't you? Oh, yeah, this is a tough monster place to play. It really is. Of course, Louis was uh, hiding out on the bench in those days. Uh, <laughs> That's the right. Indian, right? That's right. Joe Lapchick. Great man, Kevin. He was sensational. Good kick to Polanski. Nice crossover move without the walk. R.C. Massimino. And you're right. I'd like to see Massey loosen up. If he comes along, they could improve their lot. You know, they could get up as high as four or three, I think. Good inside play. And good non-call. Presley powering to the goal on that dump in. Plus by Polanski. Plus he's very quick and deep. And uh, he makes a quick move. That's why he draws a lot of fouls. One of the few times he took it down, but it was for a good reason. He took that ball, caught it high, hadn't brought it down all day, and put it on the floor and was going to reverse to the other side of the basket. That's now, very impressive. I'm impressed by Smith. Now, when he can do this and dunk. He's caught the ball here, and you figure he's going to shoot it from there. Pump fake. Uh, just the strength factor. And I think if he had the strength, he would take that all the way up and make, might dunk it. He's, he's very impressive. No question about it. A steal. I seen Mark Eaton. He wasn't even starting for UCLA and just big guy. This guy's got much more skills at this stage than Eaton had. And Eaton's become a great player in the pros. Chris, the more he plays and they've got trips to Europe. I think this club is going over there. It's got to help. And of course, this level of basketball, too. Exactly. You know, some of Marin's opponents are not as strong, obviously, as the schedule Villanova plays. And that will hurt. So against the Ionas and Villanova's, it's got to help. Matt for Janik. Wilson in the corner. The Conley Brown cross court by Brown. RC Massimino in the game. They're playing what you'd call small right now. Mary Jane's happy. Massimino. That's right. RC in and handling the point duties. I tell you, it's amazing how they look to the young player Wilson to take the ball and handle it. He's the leader of the team. West is the best player, but Wilson leads this club. Conley Brown with a nice, easy dump, and that's the shot. You know, I believe he can make it. It's just a matter of what he can get away with at this level. There's Kenny no, Wilson. There's no doubt he could stick the outside jump. He's really a good player, and uh, he's come quick. But Kance Rowley wants a walk, and in traffic, that's another miss by Shamley that really didn't look good, did it? Nice look by Wilson. RC unable, a good, strong rebound by Everson. Smiths involved, and if that's it, if that's the number. Did I see a T called also? I, I don't think they did. I don't think they called a T. This was a real power move by Everson. Boy, yeah. And it's, that's a definite foul. He took the ball up strong to get to the foul line. But on the fast break situation, Billy, Wilson made a great pass to Massimino, and it, it looked like such a simple play, and we know that's not simple. In yeah. traffic, too, wasn't it? Yeah, right, right across. Right everything. Of course, Everson has to learn how to fall. He's going to mar his features. Did you see him land? And he played terrific, Kevin. Yeah, 21 points, nine rebounds against a real fine, excellent uh, Big East ball club and rolling over. And they have to feel good about themselves, Maris, coming in there, even though they're going to get beat. But they played well, and they hung with their game plan. They showed they could play. Uh, they could play. A couple of keys for Villanova would be the ability of the big guys. You mentioned that. The improvement of Gary Massey. And 
Kenny Wilson really taking the shot when it's there. I think Wilson will do it. Good rebound now. For Villanova now identifying the new players. Pat Enright, number 14. Of course, Veltra at Dawson not staying at Villanova. And I think you're going to see a lot more of that nationally, and he shouldn't be dismayed because I thought Maris played very well. I think he did a good job. As I said, uh, he's getting ready for his league start next week, and uh, they, they look like they're prepared. They're not going to play the level of Villanova. Well, Dawson uh, supposedly going Evansville and Roley Furry down because he does not like to lose players but i think all programs now are going to lose kids because everybody wants to play from the first day on campus as soon as a, a player sees a freshman like wilson come in and that's his position he's going to say hey, i'm not going to play i i, I want to play basketball and uh it's unfortunate i think the freshman rule i personally would like to see freshmen have to sit out the year and just work on their studies but uh it's, they make a great impact i concur completely i think it's a great learning year good post pass and could be over in the corner, Conley Brown, but they've been able to get it in, and I haven't seen that as often against the Villanova team as I have tonight. They make good targets. They duck in the post real well. They do an excellent job ducking in, into the post, and uh, they're well coached, as we've said many times. They've got uh, a situation right now that with Everson and Maker, if they can come along, either one of them from Villanova and be productive for 20 minutes a game, not the whole game. I think we all know, as you said, could move up a couple notches. And Conley Brown mistimed it. And inside, Ron McCants, very aggressive. Quick to the basketball that time. You see number 25 rounding out that Villanova lineup now. Steve Pannone, John's younger brother. Didn't get the inches, but got the side <laughs> got the, the girth. <laughs> Nice young man, too. Of course, part of the victory party. Not too many people can say they played on an NCAA That's championship exactly right. team. Who's your pick? MVP? You like I, Wilson I, or I, West? I think uh, Wilson handled the ball, so basically handled the whole club. Uh, either one would be a good, good choice, and I'll give you the opportunity to make a decision. Well, I, I sort of like to stick with West because of the steals at key times. Yes, I, I think he made the big plays at the times when the game was on the line, whatever, when it was closer, and I would go with him also. Grafton Davis not happy with that call in the backcourt. we got a chance here for a man without a name on his back. <laughs> to get a couple of points Mr. and uh and right mr and right and uh he's got a chance to get a few points of course on this team a few years ago there was a michael and right these fans His are really behind, these Pat? fans are behind them chris roley can relax a little bit over there now smile he wasn't too happy when he came in to <laughs> sit with us was he uh, he was he was down a little bit Everson with a high five. That's the spirit indicative of this Villanova club, though. They, you know, really when you, you, he goes to practice every day, works as hard as everybody else, never gets a chance to play. And it's good to see his teammates pulling for him, and everybody's getting excited, even the guy sitting on the bench that he got, he got off this night here, and it's, uh, it's nice to say. And he will talk about this <laughs> for right. a long time. That's right. Get it. Miroslav Pekarski, he had a quiet game for the Maris with the rebound. That's the big difference. They have to force it in. They do not shoot the ball well from the outside. Villanova has much better perimeter shooters than Maris. And it really makes the game plan simple when you can pack it in, doesn't it? It cuts down your turnovers when you have to keep drilling the ball down in deep and taking it in deep. That's where you get the turnovers also. And when you shoot the ball well from the perimeter, you, you lessen your turnovers. Into the ball game for Maris. Number 20, John McDonough, whose father happened to be from Kearney, New Jersey, where I'm from. <laughs> Not a bad player. Of course, that was much before me. <laughs> Those fans want some of the subs to nail it. Enright with the miss. You can't say, we'll run it down. Score the goal. That's good. That's good to see the people come off the bench and score. John McDonough out of CBA. And good win for Villanova because I think... Maris came prepared, played well, and Villanova just outperformed them. 
Villanova outplayed them. They were the better basketball team, but they had to work for it, and that's what you want at this stage. And Kevin, uh, Roly, a little more relaxed and making his way over this way, and we're going to have a commercial. We'll be back after these words. Good win for Villanova. Good sound effort, and a lot of things coming into place for Roly Massimino right now, and one of them is Doug West, the Plymouth player of the game and there are his stats and tonight and on each of our big east games we'll be selecting a plymouth player of the game as part of the chrysler corporation sponsorship of big east basketball good ball game doug west final score here once again at the jake nevin Fieldhouse: villanova 87 and maris 71 for charming kevin lockery <laughs> this is bill raftery saying so long from the campus at villanova The proceeding has been a Big East Television Network presentation.